Hello, welcome back to the next episode of 3D Geometry Model Railway. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a bit more of the detail uh, items, specifically going to be looking down this side of the, um, the unit. We've done the other side last time where we looked at adding the pipe, some of the detail parts. So we're going to be looking at this side. Now, uh, one thing that I have noticed obviously is pretty prominent on this side are all these little pipes here. Now, the problem we're going to have is they're going to be really, really tiny. Um, I would imagine that realistically, these pipes we're looking at probably 0.6 millimeter in diameter if we're drawing them. Uh, the problem with that is obviously getting them to produce and print well enough that you'll be able to see them. So um, I'm probably going to have to go with something like maybe not maybe one millimeter in uh, yeah 0.1 millimeter in diameter. Um, maybe. Maybe a little bit bigger. Um, we'll see how we go. But and I'm not going to do them as quite much detail because this round here, this would not print at all. They, they well, they might, but they they break off too easy. So I'm more going to be looking for having the the horizontal pipes coming along the chassis. So I'm going to do a, draw uh, an offset plane from the inside of the chassis there, and I'm just going to bring that forwards. Uh, maybe not point. Maybe not point one, maybe. So it's only just ever so slight because not point five is you know front of the chassis here. We're only going for tiny little, tiny little pipes here. So let's let's start by just drawing one and see how they look. So pipes start pretty much just after this box here, and they run to the box at the other end. So you come and scroll in here and there's four of them to do as well so we start quite close to the bottom and run that all the way to the other end like that finish that sketch and then we're going to pipe that i'm going to go for maybe 0.1 not 0.5 maybe Is that overlapping? No. So you see, it's not touching here. The gap there. So we need to to move this inwards slightly. So I'm going to go to 0.5. Uh, uh, 0.5 on that to get that to overlap at all or even touch. Uh, we need to go more actually. So they're overlapping there. So we've got one of them. Let's let's pattern that feature. And there's four of them. So we need to go vertically upwards. Take four. So we've got red arrows. That's you know you can see that's way too much apart. So We're at 0.5. There you go, you can see that it's created them there. They're not overlapping at the top here, like if we look at the picture here. See how they, you've got a gap at the top there where that box is. Okay, it's just, I think these are going to be more of a representation of it. It gives you that, that effect in there rather than just having that hollow section. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to be worth drawing all the curves that go up and underneath the detail part in, in this area here because I think these were just they'll be too small and I'll end up breaking up 0.1 and you think that the, the layer height that I print out is 0.03 so you're only going to get three layers to produce one single pipe and that is that's really really support, fine uh, so it might print it but you know, you, you breathe on it and it'll probably fall off. Run a paintbrush over it and it'll probably fall off. Cause it, you know. Remember these pipes we did here and the pipes on the um, ZVV we did the last lesson, the handbrake um, tube that went across from one side to the other, that was 0.5. And even when it's cured, 
if you push it, it is really flexible. That's 0 0.5. So imagine 0 0.1, it's going to be even worse. So I'm going to go with that. And you know, it's, it's given the detail. Um, I might move up slightly, maybe. I don't know if I need to come. No, I'm going to go leave it there. And then I'm going to add in the supports here that hold it. So the first one sort of at the end of the, the light here. Rotate that around and zoom in down where the light is. Create a sketch on the, the back panel. And just using, let's see, let's go for center point rectangle. Find the midpoint, which is you know, roughly about there. I'm looking for that sort of shape there. Let's go for 0.4 wide and 1 millimeter tall. I've got select profiles here, so I've got to hold down to get all the profiles here. And then we're going to extrude those towards us. So let's just sit proud of the, the pipe. So that's a 0.2 forwards. And we'll tell it to join. Okay, now we need to copy those all the way down the chassis. So if we look, how many have we got? So we've got one here. Can't see if there's one hidden behind. Is that one there? Maybe. That'd be two. Let's come back. There we go. One, two. There's three, four, five, six, seven at the end of the tank there. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 16's at the end of the bogey, 17, 18, 19, 20 of them. So if we pattern that feature, it's going to be horizontal, we need 20 of them. And then we're going to want to grab that arrow and we're going to drag it across. Find out where the last one is. So it's sort of in line with the, the box here. So we're going to have 103, minus 103.4, 20 of them, click on OK. They're all joined to, to one part. You know, it's just adding that little extra detail there, I think, you know, makes it look much nicer. Okay, so the next thing I've found that I'm going to add is this bottle canister underneath the chassis here and that that sits on the side of this here okay. so we're going to be drawing on this profile here so we're going to create a sketch uh, it's going to be on so if we're going to use this inner face here although we're drawing on the outside we use that as the inner face essentially what that allows us to do is to start at that point and if we create a circle, now it's relative position sort of in the middle of this the, the triangular shaped piece here. So we're going to put, uh, I'm going to let snap that blue line off as I mentioned. I'm going to go for 1.5 millimeter on this bottle. And I'm going to define the distance from the end there. No copy is 1.3 and then the height from that point. I'm going to bring it in so it actually overlaps a little bit and I'm going to go for 0.6 I think. That's going to add that overlapping part there. So if we select that, that profile, I'm actually going to select it to do two sides. The upper part I want to go upwards turn the chassis off and I won't snap to that. Ah, okay, let's not cancel that. Let's let's undo that. I've already spotted the first issue. We're drawing on the the wrong part we need to draw on this one. So that is that's that one, yes. The wheel under frame detail. So we select that. Get sketch on that. Profile there. Okay, 
So if we're doing two sides, we rotate that round, the upper one, let's go to the chassis, and the joint, turn the chassis off so it doesn't snap to that. Okay, and then height of the bottle, where do we come down to? So it's not going to go down to the bottom of these arms that we've drawn here. It's going to come down, I'm going to go for about there. Actually, that's probably too far, it's probably going to come. Go for 2.2. So it's gone. This top half snaps to the top. Bottom half's come 2.2, and then we're going to curve the edge in. In fact, do I want to do that yet? No, I don't. But what I want to do is let's go 0 0.6 there, and then I'm going to create another profile on there. Again, using the circular tool, find the midpoint. We need a little bit bigger, so we're going to go for 1. Point 7.5, select those two profiles, extrude that down. And what I'm creating there is this band that goes around the edge. So it's going to come down maybe 0.3, and join. It's lagging a little bit, let's catch up. Again, create a sketch now on that inner surface. And then circle 1.5. that down 1.2 so let's join as well let's make sure they've not created that inner circle body on there they haven't okay so then we fill it off the top surface we're just going to round that down a little bit we're going to go round it down by 0.5 and then at the bottom here we've got a small pipe that comes out Use that profile to extrude that downwards, and we're going to come down 0.5. Okay, so you see that's all now supported on this back plate here. It will, it will, depending on which orientation we print this, this whole unit, it might need a bit of supporting, but it's there on the side now, and I think that looks quite good. Let's turn the chassis back on. It's just added that little extra onto this bit here that's not on the other sides. A little bit more detail there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to draw is I found a photo online I can't show because it, it obviously I don't have copyright to it. There's on the top of the roof there's a like a square box that looks something like a, ra uh, a radio pod or something like that on both ends of the roof. So we can we can add that in. So just going to select the roof panel, radio button on the top here, and then if we scroll to the top, it, it sits pretty central on the, the top part here. Um, so we're just going to use a centre point rectangle. If we find the midpoint of the unit, then it sort of just sort of sits in this area about that sort of size. So we've got 2.5 millimetres square. It is. It does look square. Um, so we can dimension that in the end here. I'm just going to go for four millimeters, and the side should be in the center, so that's fine. We just bring that up, and it's, it doesn't sit particularly tall either. So um, I'm only going to come maybe 0 0.5 millimeters, even that might be a little bit, uh, probably 0 0.5, and then I'm going to chamfer off the top because it is sloped all the way around so just selecting those sides okay and then we can just bring that chamfer in like that okay so just bring it in 0.5 because so that's going to bring it down to the same height just diagonal all the way around and then we can mirror that feature Selecting the two parts of the chamfer and the copy, so that's done faces. Let's put that 
and like that. And then hopefully the chamfer won't go funny when we mirror this. We're going to do it down the, the midpoint, I think it's that one. Yep, so plane number two is going to be our mirror plane. And that should put it up at the end here. So just check the chamfer looks right all the way around. Yep, looks fine. Okay, so that's a nice easy little one to add on there. The the next thing that I'm going to do is I've noticed that, or as pointed out to me, that the roof has joint lines because all these parts of the roof come off, off the unit separately. So we're going to add those in. So here you can see these are the seam lines we're looking to draw. So I'm, I'm not going to do anything too complicated. I'm just going to put like a small recess in there. And as you can see, they, they, they show up quite black. I'm assuming that's a bit maybe a bit of rubber or it's just dirt in there but having that recess will allow that to be drawn or painted on quite, quite easily. So let's have a quick, actually let's have a quick look at the engine end. So we'll start the engine end and we're going to put this first one in just behind the cab. So it's going to be sort of in this area here. So I'm going to start with, uh, let's start on the roof, create a sketch on the roof and Actually, it'd probably be easier to start on the side panel. Let's finish that, delete that, delete that sketch, and we'll start on the side panel because then we can see where the starting point is relative to this post. So you can see that the post here is just on the inside of the, the, the panel itself. So I'm going to use a rectangle and I'm just going to draw. Something like that. So we define the width. Let's go for 0.5 millimeters. Constrain. The, the end should be constrained actually. Let's just do a dimension from there. The end. 12.4 millimeters. That'll do. And the recess that inwards. And recess that in by say 0.2 millimeters. No, 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 no. Okay, there's that feature. That should be a minus 0.2. That might actually have to be a minus 0.4 now. We should be cutting it. We'll get there. We'll get there. There you go. That's it. Cool. Okay, so we can then. Nice, easy mirror there, mirror that feature. And the mirror plane, we're going to use plane one, which is the one that goes down the middle of the, the unit. That catch up, it's just lagging. So that's done both sides there. And then we do one on the roof. And because we did the sides first, you can now see where the recesses are on the, on the roof panel. Just select the two corners like that. And again extrude that so it'll be minus 0.2 millimeters to match the rest. So we should have recess all the way around. Okay. Right, so now we've got that we now need to add them all the way down the unit. So looking at this picture on the side here we can see that these parts are sitting just between where the two uprights go and just off to the edge of this cap here. So the nice easy way to do this now would be to, to pattern all these features along and that would make it you know, pretty simple. So we're just going to need one here, here and just behind the cap here. So if we do rectangular path rectangular pattern, select features, and if we select that feature which is the initial drawing, the mirror to the other side and then the extrusion on the top, the direction we come along, if we select three initially that won't work because they're uneven so we're going to have to do them individually so we'll do two and if we scroll in we'll try and get this reasonably centered here
So I think minus 30.6 for the first one for me. And that puts that centre there. And then I can rectangular pattern that pattern rather than select anything else and then just come across direction that way. Again, make sure I've only got two of them. And the next one is 28 millimetres across. And then same again, rectangular pattern, that pattern, direction, across. And this one, you can see from this picture, is sitting again just behind the cab, cab wall there. So bring that across. Again, we only need two, not three. Um, so this is the edge of the cab, and it's sitting pretty much level with that. I'm just going to come ever so slightly in, so 28.9, so it's not quite flush with there. Okay, and that's those four, four roof panels there. They do look quite prominent on there. So I'm wondering whether maybe to just edit that feature and just maybe come down to 0 0.1. Okay, and so it's not quite so prominent. And if we do the next one as well. They'll still be there and it will just give that little recess. You can run some black paint down that rather than being quite so deep because you know, looking at the pictures, they're not massively deep there. So that, that, that will add on quite nicely, I think. Okay, so now we've got to this point here. I think I'm pretty much done with the detail. I've gone over the model as much as I can to try and find anything that sort of is glaringly obvious. Um, I've also had a mate have a look at it. And we're both pretty happy with where we're at at the moment. It looks to the point where the details are there or thereabouts. So I'm, I'm going to start wrapping this episode up now. And then I think from then onwards, we're going to start creating uh, the test files to have a look, see if it prints OK. And if there's any changes that need to be made to be able to print it successfully. So I hope you enjoyed the, the, the series so far. And obviously, as I say, in the next episode, we'll be creating those print files. Thanks for watching.